Hi guys, this video will just be a revision of, of the topic that we have just covered in section 7.5, like the vector equation, parametric equation, and symmetric equations. Okay, so now let's do this problem. Here it says to find a vector, a, a vector, a parametric and symmetric equation for the line passing through this point and which is parallel to this vector A. So here we're given the vector A, so we don't need to find it. Like before we were given two points and we had to find the vector a first by subtracting one with the other one so that's how we got a and then the initial point so here we're already given that so let's just find the parametric equation first so now with the parametric equation the formula is x equals to x0 plus a t z and then y equals to y0 plus b t and z equals to z0 plus ct where this a okay this a let's use another color okay a b and c are the components of this vector a so this is let's say this is the vector a so this is a 5 is a b is 10 and C is 2. So we have A, B, C now. And what about the X0, Y0, Z0? These are just the initial point. Oh, this is just the initial point given. So the coordinates of this point. So X0, Y0, X0, Y0, and Z0. So these points, 4, 6, and 3. Okay, now, once we have everything, let's just plug into the formula. So the parametric equations is simply x equals to what is x zero it's four okay four plus what's a it's five so five t now y equals two what's y zero y zero is six and what about b b is ten so it's six plus negative ten t okay now let's just write it okay so it's six negative ten t okay and for z z equals 2 z0 what's z0 z0 we have 3 and c we have 2 so 3 plus 2t okay let's just write it so 3 plus 2t so this is or these are the parametric equations for the for this point passing through the parallel line okay now let's find the parametric equation oh i mean the symmetric equation okay this is parametric equations now moving on to symmetric equation so in my previous videos i told you guys that uh, to find the symmetric equation what you guys do is simply isolate the t once you get the parametric equation so now isolating the t here what do we get so here for example for the first equation we have x equals to 4 plus 5t and now we're isolating the t so what do we do we move this 4 to the other side so for that we have to do minus 4 both sides so here 4 and 4 cancels out 4 positive 4 negative 4 cancels out leaving us with 0 and on the other side we have x negative 4 equals to 5t now we need to simply isolate t and for that, since it's multiplying by t, on the other side, it will divide by t. So, let's divide by 5, both sides. So, here, we're just left with 1. And if we divide it, so we only have x minus 4 over... Oh, wait, I don't have space here, so I'm going to write it here. So, x minus 4 or 5 equals to t. So this is for the first one, and similarly we'll do for the rest of them. Okay, now I'll just remove them and write it neatly. Okay. Now, for the parametric equation, what do we do is we're going to isolate the t and we have x minus 4 over 5. And you'll write t equals to since they all will be equal to t so we can just write t equals to for all of them and then make them all equal okay now equal to 
y minus 6 over negative 10 and then equals to z negative 3 over 2 so you guys see what i did move the 6 to the other side negative 6 divide by 10 negative 10 was z equals to 3 to isolate t what i did z z negative 3 so z negative 3 and then dividing by 2 so this is my symmetric equation symmetric equation now oh i forgot to find the vector equation okay now let's just do this now so vector equation is easy so what do we do just write x y z equals 2 and then what do we do we write uh, the vector a so what are the components of vector a so we have 5 10 and 2 so we write t here and then we do plus well the initial point that was given to us so 4 6 3 so this is it you just write the point that's given to you and then the the components of a along with the t and this is simply the vector equation okay that's it bye oh wait i forgot to put a negative here because here it's negative 10 so this has to be negative as well okay so this is negative okay bye